Hello. It's uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Like months, in fact, even. Uh, there's no good reason for it. Uh, I'd like to say I'm busy, but uh, some of it was I had a slight accident, crushed a finger, so a couple of couple of weeks of not doing anything. What, end of October, I guess that was. But I just haven't had any energy to stream, so I just thought, you know. Hey, why why not do it now for what I'm gonna play today? Uh, the clues obviously obviously already given away if you look at Twitch. Um, uh, what I will do is recap what I've been doing on PlayStation in the last couple of months. So let's go to the console now, and I'm gonna get rid of the webcam because I'm not feeling particularly attracted today anyway. So uh, bye. Uh, so. The last thing I properly streamed was Stray, just at launch, and then uh, Elder Scrolls Online like a week after that. And since then, uh, I've pl <laughs> played a lot, um, and obviously still been doing my Elder Scrolls Online stuff for the year. So I played uh, Little Hope with Olivia. Uh, we played a good chunk of the game, but just... <sighs> you get old, and I say old... <laughs> You get just past 40, and you start falling asleep while you're playing games in the afternoon. It's like, I, I can't play it. So, I don't know. I'm I'm losing a bit of enthusiasm for the Dark Pictures anthology. Just because it... I guess it's the plodding nature. It, it, it feels like moving through thin treacle. It's not like treacle, treacle, but... It's hard to get through the game. So, uh, I really want that style of game to work, but... I really want their writing to be punchier or something. Just just get through the scenes quicker or put more in them. Because if it's just a room with like three items, it shouldn't take 15 minutes just to walk around it. That's all. So I don't recall that we finished the game. In our, It was uh, a playthrough where I guess it wasn't movie night. It was uh, we're playing different different characters. Uh, I then, I played Telling Lies, and I played it on a guest account on my PlayStation 4, because I actually wanted to organise playing it through really quickly, and actually, that's my fastest platinum now, because <laughs> I did it ridiculously quickly, as you can tell, uh, I was quite impressed, but that, that game's great, uh, if you want a story game that will take you hours and hours of just watching, watching through footage and working out you know, what the actual story is. I, uh... Yeah, the, the trophies for mine are literally just me going through an optimised run. Um, and basically, I started the game playing cards, because one of these trophies is just for... Um... Is it Solitaire? I forget. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, probably that. Yes, Missing King. Because there's a card missing. Anyway... I dipped into Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding just to play the intro, which is still about four or five hours, maybe, maybe two or three. Uh, like that game, we'll get back to it when I have time. Uh, Street Fighter V is because PlayStation Stars came out, and I've launched that title a couple of times now just to get the progress for this stupid monthly campaign, and that's it. Uh, Among Us, I have had on mobile and Steam, so I thought I'd try and join all the counts together and play and of course the PlayStation version of Among Us is siloed away from everything else so yeah um, okay that kind of sucks Bug Snacks I was always going to get there played it through, loved it played the DLC, loved that it is it's a very weird game even after learning the whole story and everything how did they come up with that idea? But, I mean, it's great. The credits music is awesome and catchy. I've been humming it to myself every so often. It's great. Now, Far Cry 3. I have a memory of playing through the game. And I don't know where I did. Because I thought it was on PS3. But I don't have any progress on PS3 for it. It's not on Steam. I, I don't know how I could have played it. But I played through the early missions on this, obviously, PS4 remaster. And I've played the missions before. I just I, I have no idea where I could have possibly played the game before. But playing through that again, thought 
why not? I like three and four. Four I've obviously platinumed. Um, and three I thought I can do that at some point. And of course, with how I am, I started the game. And then something else attracted my attention, which is the Tomorrow Children. Obviously, you'll know that I played this game uh, way back near the PS4 launch. Absolutely loved it. And they announced the servers are going to be closing, and I played it through to get all the trophies. And then I was really sad, because I really like that style of game. Um, I'm glad it's returned. Uh, the server population feels like it's less than before. Some of that is obviously because it's a relaunch. The people that were trying out initially in the first game may not have come back. So we'll see. Uh, I want to play that an awful lot more, and I probably will. And then I thought, I should really play through the game that I actually liked, um, just from all the, the PS5 um, support that it's got, just with the um, the rumble, all the controller doohickeys, and that this game, absolutely amazing, loved it. Uh, I, I want to give it as much praise as I can. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a 9 out of 10. It's like a 7.5 out of 10 to 8. It really depends if you like Ratchet & Clank. It's, you know, it's that sort of humour, storytelling and the rest. It's If that doesn't fit with you, you'll still appreciate the mechanics of the game. Um, but yeah, a absolute banger of a game. I then played a really weird game to look what it is, Greedfall. It is a an exceedingly hard uh, Western RPG, I'd say. Uh, I looked at it, played for a couple of, like an hour and a half, and just thought, this is a lot. And then the problem is, like, yeah, I do want to play that. I just, do I have time for it? Maybe not. So I don't know if I'm going to return to that. I then played Tunic. And, oh boy, did I absolutely love this game. Uh, I, I feel like I binged it, as you can tell. Uh, I've had a couple of days off. This is just after my finger, so obviously I didn't have work for a, nearly a fortnight so yeah absolutely binge through tunic loved it absolute it might be my game of the year if it hadn't come out i guess was it last year or earlier this year not sure absolutely brilliant if you ever get a chance for that sort of game go for it it's it's got the the meta level of discovery like fez or the witness house um and it's just so intelligent it's absolutely brilliant Loved it. Um, Serious Sam. Yep, played the game on PC when it came out. Uh, Serious Sam 1 and 2. Uh, and it's the same. They've basically incorporated all the upgraded games into like a meta collection. So I played through a couple of missions and thought, yeah, I'll get back to this whenever I can be bothered. Right. I hate hard platformers. So, as you can see... I played this to get through the chapter, and uh, and then I was like, I'll come back to this. Uh, it's one of the games where I'll play it with all the accessibility toggles on, because I I am not good at tapping or like optimizing runs. I'm just I don't have the dexterity, so I will play through that game just to see whatever's up the top of the mountain. But otherwise, I I don't think I'm going to get heartbeat at all. Right. So then I thought, okay, I want some cute, unserious, like, wonder games, um, cosy games, as they call them, you know, so, something that I can enjoy. So I went for Toem. That was lovely. Really chill. A nice little, um, do I have any screenshots from here? And this is the sort of game, it's, uh, is it 2.5D? If it's a 3D world with 2D sprites, I'm not even certain. But it's just a little exploration collection game. Absolutely lovely, really cute, nice atmosphere, absolutely chill, you know. Everything's like, you know, you can can you go do this for me? And you're like, sure, okay, and you just do it. It's a really nice game, and I loved it. So then I thought, what what's similar to this style? And I played Chicory, and ugh. Uh, I think it's just the control system with the paintbrush that I really didn't like. Uh, I also tried it with a remote play to start with, and um, it doesn't work with remote play particularly well. 
because it keep like if you drag your finger around it will just keep the inertia of that movement going so it yeah um do I think I'll come back to, I may look at that game again I might actually even stream it if I get any time over Christmas uh, more games you can see how much I've been playing recently and just forgetting to stream and I really ought to and this was the game that I'm gonna stream soon because I've done everything in the game except for the novel trophy of this which and this is I guess we can show it now can't we so this is beginner's luck which is a nonsense trophy and they shouldn't have put it in the trophy list it is basically can you know do everything you need to do in the game to get to the end game on your first life in other words you have to have played the game before to know anything to be able to get to that uh, it's a cheap trophy and it sickens me but anyway I've 99% of that game and uh, I think I'll stream getting the platinum but the, the, uh, I haven't actually said anything about the game space game exploration um, you don't know anything and then the universe explodes and you reset and that's it you have to discover what's happening why it's happening in the short window between you know um waking up and dying and it's great that is 10 out of 10 i'd say best game i've played this year tunics just below it. uh then i played harry potter for a bit it's a harry potter game it's a lego game it's a collection i will play that through Whenever, whenever I'm bed bound for a week, I mean that's just a you know a binge collection. I do have quite a lot of Lego games on my profile. Um, and then PlayStation Stars had a collect a collector uh, a campaign for getting an astronaut for your shelf, and I thought I really want that. And of course, it in it requires you to defeat a boss, which is Frank. And I did that. And then I was like, well, okay, I did that. I'm exploring the second zone. Do I want to keep doing this? And I was just like, well, I don't have much time when I was playing this. So I went back to just Elder Scrolls as daily stuff. And I haven't gone back to it, but that's my own fault. I then looked at Monster Hunter World. You know what that game is. Uh, that's a lot of work. I don't know if I can play that all. I then looked at Overwatch 2, because that just came out. It's the same thing as the first one. <laughs> you can tell how many games I've played recently. <laughs> this is silly. Uh, I popped into Tetris Effect to see what it's like. Pretty chill. Uh, I don't know, I might delete that one. And then I thought, okay, I pay for PlayStation, um, is it PS Premium, or whatever you want to call it nowadays, which includes the PS3 streaming. I should really play through the older Ratchet & Clank games. So that's what I started. And I'll keep doing that. You then got Elder Scrolls, and you can see I've been playing through everything that I can. Some of these are just like um, uh, dungeons, and uh, I guess that's actual chapter content. Yeah, it's just it's it's hard. Like I don't think I'm going to do a lot of veteran stuff, but then these trophies are for it, so it's like well. I don't know. There's a lot of end game stuff in this game, and I don't even think I'm near that at the moment. Just because I'm getting towards being a master crafter, I just. I don't know. Falling short, need more time, don't have it. Uh, the developer of Hitman Go, Death Ex Go, Lara Croft Go, has actually. It's shuttered by Embracer, and I thought, well, I should buy this game before it possibly gets delisted and play it through. So there you go, I have uh, Agent 47. Nothing more to say about this game, really. Air, like the game, or at least I like the intention of the game. I might say it's like a mediocre game. Um, just because they haven't done a good enough job in the world to encourage you to get to where you need to go for the story. So they keep like, you know, you, you finish a cavern and on the exit there's a spirit animal to tell you where to go next it's like wait clearly you've not you know it, it's a bunch of disparate puzzles interconnected in a world that sort of looks journey slash abzu-esque and it's just i 
don't think it's coherent in its story, its narrative, its puzzles, anything. It's just... It's a bit of a mess. Is is it enjoyable for a couple of hours? Sure. You can just fly around as an eagle. Uh, and this is the game we're going to be playing today. So let's... Uh, let's go along. Now, I've said nothing about this. This game launched in March this year. It's an MMORPG. Uh, that barely anyone bought the game, and they've already announced the closure of the servers in February. So, uh, it's probably silly that I should look at this now, but I have a, a pattern of playing games, putting them up on my YouTube, like Paragon and the rest, that these games should have a fair showing before they get retired. Just because in the future, not many people would have a, you know, a recording of some of these sections of the game. Um, so I'm going to talk less um, and go through the whole introduction of this game. Bless you, Tess. Fingers crossed it actually allows us to connect. If Why is there a cursor in the top left? Don't recall if I've had if I have a Square Enix account. Oh really? We have to. Oh boy. Uh, okay. So what I will do, I probably need to um, toggle to a different view. Actually, what I can do is I'll desktop one. There we go. I'll. I'll um, Leave my strats page up. I need to toggle um, my compositor thing up because it's now um, yeah, transparent view. Right, so I'm just going to create an account quickly. Same ID and password, oh boy. So I may... Uh, is there a space at the end there? No. Should be good. Oh, am I gonna have to accept an email? I'll do my Gmail quickly. Uh, R three. Got to look for the ampersand. Oh, apparently I've forgotten the water. I've just had the amount of spam. I'm getting on Gmail now is quite a bit higher than it used to be. And not just that, I'm actually getting far more legitimate emails that have been sent to the wrong person. But that person has given my email as theirs. So last week I was getting quotations for a driveway. Oh god. Okay, well. This is fun. We're currently putting in a security question for something that all my friends know the answer to because there aren't many options. We accept the terms of server. Yep. Indicate your consent. Cookie nonsense. Yes. Okay, the click target for the um, checkboxes is only in the checkbox. You can't click on the text. Right. So let's try that. Next. A confirmation code has been sent to my email. So what I will do now. Um, just get to this point. I assume that the confirmation code is going to be unique to me, so let's have a look. Can't remember the last time a game has had a browser window in it. Right, it is. Uh, where's caps not going to? <laughs> Uh, 420 Jenkins is a Twitch channel I sometimes watch. <laughs> oh boy. That is definitely a bit of uh, privacy leakage. Uh, H. Uh, I need 
email has been sent to them for your successful registration. I could have sworn honestly that that username would have been taken by me previously, so I'll just put that in. Why not? Please make sure, yes. Europe, yes, you want to play with other players. I have checked and read the notes above, whatever. How many times is it going to definitely make me aware that I've linked these accounts? I don't know. Okay, so let's take the preview off. There we go. Uh, it's this an account name or a name name? Because I just gave it an account name. Well, let's put in what I normally do. 16 will fit, right? So I've got a Square Enix account called John Dragona, a PSN account called John Dragona, and a Babylon's Fall account called John Dragona. If it lists all three together now, I'm going to laugh quite hard. Finale marks the final season. Planning various events. Amazing. Cancel button is closed. If you did, what does that do? Oh my god, it's, it's another web page be the final update right 28th of february 2023 okay oh wow a cookie accept box in a game amazing final season <laughs> until the 29th oh wow i've just missed the final season period what, season two is over and this is the final season season okay so we're in season three i guess Power levels to select a quest. They didn't have that before? That's nuts. Okay. Steam, equipment. Rewards that cannot be received. Okay. Name of the emote. Imagine working for a couple of years on a game and within a month or two of launch, they're just like, yeah, we're probably going to close it and then just working on bug fixes for a game that you know is everyone's going to fall out and just stop playing it oh, guide I hope someone at uh, Web Archive is going through this and just pumping all this stuff into it starting out so this was made in July so we're currently at step zero. We have an med character. Gideon Coffin. There's a special cord. Rapidly closing. Okay. Um, you should put different go work abilities. Okay. Short to medium range melee. Uh, close quarter tank. I tend to play tanks, but I probably just want to go high damage. Support character, that means what? Heavy hitting tank. Well, that sounds like me. Molzamites. Okay. Uh, long range healer. Powerful range damage dealer. Okay, that's even better. Kuftali. Choose your preferred body type. How big do you want the fig leaf? Type B after selecting the can be changed. This is definitely giving me anthem vibes because they're like Destiny making all these verbs and unique unique in game bullshit. Especially Anthem, 
they just had utter nonsense. So I want curious peddlers from the desert. Okay, I'm not certain I want a face veil, but so if we hide armor. Okay. We're gonna go with that. So we want a type B, because it tends to play as a lady. There's no spaces. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Like that. Could you do some voice lines, please, game? If they're not going to give you a decent amount of... Like, why not just have a standard line so that you could tell? Uh, I don't really care about any of this. Slightly deeper. Actually, let's go deeper. Now. Doesn't really matter, quite frankly. Is this another Donald Rumsfeld quote? Doesn't seem like something a king would say. So. It's a really weird smudge over the screen. I don't understand why. Obviously, it's an art style thing, but it's funky. Like, see above the knee, there's that, that light. It's like they're trying to make the screen look like an oil painting. And it just moved? What? It's still there, though. Wait. Okay, well... Guess we'll accept it. I look hideous, and that's great. See what people said. Why people said the game just looked like last generation muddy. I 
like with the addition of whatever they're doing to like make it I mean it's an art style choice on top of how ugly the game is that's making it look smushier like on this screen there's just a texture over everything for no good reason just making it look worse but they're also smudging it so it's ghosting like that's such a weird choice and they've got motion blur that makes it just look laggy Okay, this doesn't currently make any sense whatsoever. This reminds me of like Demon Souls. <laughs> you know, back 15 years ago where they would make a really deeply weird game and it would be brought over to a different country and everyone would be like, this is really interesting and weird, but this game is just weird. Ziggurat were. So basically, the people who didn't die from that are sent. I don't. What? Is that a trial? Weird. Oh my god, it looks hideous. So, I was just thinking that. What? Uh, left, right. That seems fine. Yes. So the thing is, Elder Scrolls is a better looking game than this. And I mean, I, I would say that that's quite a hideously ugly game. What is the thing that's floating behind us? Just like weapons or something? One's a sword and three are like staffs. Upside down. So what are these things I'm collecting? <laughs> that fish. Gideon coffin. You're the old bastard with the mask from the fall. Maybe so. Can't jump. Now I can jump. We don't want to keep the people of Babylon waiting for a closer look at their new heroes. Heroes? Got this shit. Who the hell do you think you are? Ordering us around like Gotta love that they're just like, let's have a Barbadian. Just, you know. Hold L3, fuck off. That's not how anyone wants to play. Let's see if I can change that later. So, what's this up ahead? It looks like a force field. Am I meant to run into that? No. Light. Heavy. Yeah, this voice is annoying me already. Yeah. Okay, so the... Huh, weird, okay. That's literally our weaponry that's behind us then? So the other two buttons do nothing.
It's not giving me a number of what I'm collecting, is it? Can I just... Okay, can't destroy random stuff. But I can destroy... Yeah. Kegs. Oh, sorry, I was looking at a chat message that's blatantly spam. So R1 is Dodger. The dodging is absolute ass, so I was tapping it during that and use health potion. Okay. <laughs> uh, bronze, amazing. Is that a time thing or just I suck and go ahead or I don't really care. Right, let me just. Um... Okay, so even blocking them, the message is still in here. Does it really have to tutorialize a compass? Like, it's been on the screen for the past couple of minutes anyway. So, can we destroy the booster? No. Those are bad, okay. Didn't really need that, but they do a lot of damage. They did more than most of that fight did. So we're fighting. Chapter t two is done already. What? Or is that? Okay. Weird. So I'm going that way, I guess. Gig and Gallo. This fighting isn't exactly pleasant. Do they even know what a chapter is? Unless it's like chapters of a book of the story of, you know, and that's the myth, like a mission is a book and then there are chapters in a book or something. That would work, I guess. Anything? They haven't really said anything about these that I'm collecting, have they? Uh, 
I don't know where out of bounds is, so we just keep collecting stuff. There's nowhere to go that way. Grab a hold of them with my gut. What? Wasn't it just playing a cutscene of a boss fight? Okay. Look out! Above! God, it's like 15 frames a second with motion blur. Just milky looking and... Damn. This this feels like such a PS3 title, and I'm not even saying that in like an insulting thing to the PS3. Like PS3 could easily render most of this, like core sticks on metals, <laughs> and it's not as if there's much complexity on screen either. Maybe higher texture quality than PS3 could do, but it's not far off. I wonder if there's an option to make it look a little better. I might pause it after this fight and just go through settings. Why is the audio so much behind the subtitles? Real emotive face there on my character. Is there a duck button? No, okay. So a heavy attack takes like three times as long to actual swing, but only twice as much damage, so how is that any good? Okay, we've got a stamina meter, I hadn't noticed that. What is this? Someone's slowing time? I'm dying? What? Oh, this dude, okay. Is that Gideon man? No. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm sorry, it's not my time. I wasn't dying. Unless I've misunderstood the implication. Okay, so our, our Gideon coffin can do something, question mark. Gideon arm, okay. Okay, uh, neither of those buttons work then. Um, okay, my character confuses me because they don't appear to be swinging. Okay, so I need to build up stamina because that's why I'm not able to do much in the fight anymore.
Got him in the back with my Gideon arm. Whoa. Is that a mission countdown timer? End mission, I guess. Is this going to be like Anthem where it shows me the stuff I, I'm going to get if I go back to the base and collect it? Nothing, nothing, no items. Amazing. Oh boy. Like four seconds. Why is the audio so messed up? Domitinian. Second title, come on. I don't really understand the twee style of this, but okay.
See, artistically, that's a much better style than the previous cutscene where her lip sync was out of order. It still looked a bit ugly. This at least is acceptable. They've basically... They're like storyboards. Um, so they're casually animating it, which is fine, like, on a low budget. I'd much rather have voice, text, and characters animating like this than just raw text. Login bonus automatically added. Okay, well that's neat. Right, I am gonna quickly go and top up my drink and just stretch my legs. So I will be back in a second, or like two minutes. So be right back. Right, where were we? I see there's still claim rewards there. So what's this? Okay, so I don't have the battle pass. I don't have the money. So I don't want to claim rewards from past season. Can I do that? No. Claim all. Okay, so it's telling me to claim rewards, but there are no rewards to claim. Who is this? So, as far as I've been able to deduce, you can mostly play this as a single player game. 
but obviously there are benefits if you play with others. And there's one trophy attached to actually doing so because you have to like another player. Hello, can I talk? Oh, is that a conversation with both of them? Okay. Oh, I had a, a thought about the previous cutscene as I was walking downstairs. The subtitles, or rather the text, had naught, which means nothing. Um, you know, we had nothing to do, we had naught to do. But the voice actor said naught. Now, naught also kind of means the same thing, nothing. But it, it still has quite a different meaning. Uh, you know, what are you up to? Now, you know, you don't say, if someone says what are you up to, you don't say naught, you say naught. And it's just, uh, I think they might have just read naught to actually mean naught, even though obviously they have different spellings and the rest. I, I just thought that was interesting. So I thought I'd mention it. The quicker you can, okay, that's stupid. Start, end. Okay, so all of these have already ended. Like what? <laughs> so if I do that... Okay, so there's no chance you can get... Okay, point, pointless. That's even more. I have a feeling with announcing quests in the right side that this might be similar to Monster Hunter where you sort of tender out a contract and everyone joins in if they want to do it. That would be interesting if so. Okay, come back later. So I saw that there was a... yeah. Isn't that... No, we, we were here earlier, but we didn't. Okay, nonsense, we could ignore it. So, did that noise play because someone left, really? Temporarily unlocked features of Coffin. Okay, I don't understand what the audio is. Why it's making noise now. Can you see me from echo? Okay. Uh, I don't need to edit me. So the objective's over there. Millimora. That's a cool name. Yeah. When I'm less busy. So why does this person have... I assume it's the um, downscaling that's making the that logo look really shitty. Next to Kasumi. I assume these are players running around. Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm pumping the console through my HDMI matrix to get it onto uh, the capture card and this other monitor. So the console is outputting at 1080p over HDMI. Oh, yeah. Bit of a war in this place, isn't it? Sorry, 
Well, that was dumb. Surprised you, did I? Uh, you know, you gave me quite a surprise too. Using a dynamic like you did back there. It's time to learn just what it was you did. Come on, Sentinel. Gather round. There's a few things you need to know about your Gideon Coffin's dynamic abilities. I have to think they didn't really consider why calling it a coffin would matter and why saying all of this is gut work. Like, the F? There are other dynamics abilities too, but, as you can imagine, the Gallo aren't going to wait for me to finish my lecture. We'll pick up where we left off later. Assuming you make it back from your first official mission, that is. Berserkers like you. Something tells me we're in for trouble. You're right about that. It's not every day you go from a man to a monster. By the way, did you see that masked guy upstairs? The one mumbling to some weird doll on his shoulder. Seems like working here could break anyone. Well, it looked like the doll was connected to him by some kind of shining thread. Remind you of any other threads we heard about lately? Are you saying he used to be a sentinel? Either way, I'm sure he's got some stories to tell. The font kerning is also really bothering me. Like, they're just gluing letters together with textures. It's making me twitch. Right, so they're on about upstairs, but they're still here to talk to. Oh, we totally know that. Am I just running around with Sarah above my head? <laughs> I didn't I didn't really think much on that. <laughs> Why does it keep playing that ominous noise? I don't get it. Right, I'm gonna check settings. Is it here? I guess it's options. It. Paper white huh? So HDR is not on. Just because I'm pretty certain this matrix doesn't support it. Sound HUD. I don't think I need to turn them off. There's a da aim down sights. Wow. Okay. Weird. It'd be really nice if uh, the attacks were on the shoulder buttons rather than where they are. Right. Community. Oh. Progress. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so collectibles. Okay, so just the typical standard bog, bog bits and bobs, right? Uh, missions. Okay, so daily. Defeat. Available onto that. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So yeah, we've okay. So ah uh, now, right? Okay, so that's heavy attack. Those are my gut abilities, whatever you want to call them. That's my ally. okay. Well, what else? Right. I didn't speak to this person, did I? Lamina. What? Dancing dolphin. Industry on the right. Is she calling herself a whore? Or what? So they said down the street to the right, but did they mean that way or this way? Lonely, not this way. Okay, how do I accept a quest and how do I go on one? There is. Okay, so that's subjective. Is this the exit or what? Yes, sir. Ask the chief gatekeeper. Okay. Can I go past? Without a pass. Okay, fine. So we have to get something to get past that. Typical bull bullshit. So this person that just said we couldn't interact with them not 10 minutes ago, is now good to go. Hey there. Oh, welcome. Yeah, welcome to the dying dolphin, maggots. Now, Galatea, how could you say? I beg your pardon. Galatea is a bit of a diamond in the rough. God, I love the fact that they're taking us through a massive conversation about bullshit. Like, keep wasting my time again. I don't care. Why do I have to talk to you? Make me care. This game, my god.
So, if the if the name Pygmalion has been picked because it's like a simile to the actual classical mythology of someone who's sculpted a statue of a maiden that they fall in love with, and then it's brought to life by Aphrodite, it's like, what's the game trying to say? See why people thought the game was bad. A cutscene for literally nothing? Just setting up the comic relief of this asshole? And we already learnt that this guy will sell his equipment in the previous conversation before that cutscene. Like, I can never remember the guy, uh, the Gambit guy in Destiny 2, but they managed to make him an annoying prick, but do it in such a way that didn't waste your time. And you, you, from his mannerisms and even the brief interaction before you basically treat him like a vendor, you understand that character you know, from from the off. Whereas so stunted. Right, finally. The exchange is here. Great. Until the end of... Last season's can still be claimed until the end of the... Okay. But I didn't have any progress in the last thing, so that doesn't matter. And the thing is, it's... I don't even know that I could buy the Battle Pass now. And I don't... Definitely wouldn't want to. Can I actually buy stuff here? So I've got 6,000. Travel to PlayStations. Nope. Conch shop. Starter pack. How much do these cost? 5,000, I guess. Charge attacks, HP edition. I wanted a ranged. I mean, that's ranged, isn't it? So, how much is like a bow? 2,500. 87. Um. How do I see what's in the pack if I want to. Can I get a. No. Can I do I have to hold that? Hello? Okay, so I bought that. Again, like... Okay, so let's say I bought it. If I... Okay, so here... So you're telling me that the base pack I just bought has weaker weapons <laughs> than the base weapon I'm given. That, that's amazing. Is this meant to be my light attack? Let's confirm that. I assume. Okay, well I've learned a valuable lesson here that um, if there's no... If there's no easy way to see what... Yeah, whatever. Let's just skip on to the bullshit. Let's get actually into a mission, that would be nice. Is this where I can get one? Yay, quests! Woohoo! Only 70 minutes into the stream before we get into a mission board. Rewarded. Okay. Yes, yes. You'd think that they would accept that people have domain knowledge of what a frickin' quest board looks like. Gonna pick up 
pick the only one that's there. Okay, well, what I'm actually going to do is uh, hang around, see if someone wants to join me. I don't know how they would actually pick the same mission, but... So there's Ready, and what's our one do? I need to find out if there's any way to join someone doing a quest, because if it's announcing that they're starting a quest, I should try and join in. <clears throat> Do be careful. See, so the problem I have, if if something's a different colour than the base, like, if the base is grey, and the next thing up is green, and then like blue, and you know how the colours tend to work in these, you shouldn't make it a weaker item. Like, how does that make sense? Yes, it's very quiet. Hello? Oh, they're talking through the coffin. See, if my coffin does that amount of damage, like, why would I not use it all the time? I'm not certain why it teleported them, but okay. Okay, is that just because I don't have particularly high damage weapons, or did that just take too long? Okay, so I have to go up there.
need to watch my stamina because I keep wasting it so I can't dodge. I'm proud of me too, thank you. So do I go this way or that way? That way, but let's just check up these stairs. I don't know if I saw anything. Okay. An awful lot of barren area for like three enemies, and then there's two up here. <clears throat> uh, I, I swear I hit uh, the aim button or something. is reminding me of um, Unravel at the moment. A very stark, um, solemn string violin. Just, you know. Get confused. At oh, our L2 is now a bomb or something. Is that what was in that chest? Huh? Okay, not yet. Entirely convinced of what that override has done to my ability. Because all it does at the moment is swing a little thing on. The dodge doesn't dodge far enough, and I'm never too certain when it's actually going to properly activate. Maybe it's a bit of latency. That could be. So it'd be nice if I had a bow that did do split shot, frankly, because I'd probably get more damage out for that. I mean, it's good for um, multiple enemies, but the other one's just walked over there and doesn't want to hang near their friend.
Is that just a flame? Or is it something I can do? No. Whew. Okay, so... That's some money. So, L3 and R3 will discard what I've currently got. I haven't worked out what it... Oh, I see, I can throw it. I was, like, hitting L... L2 in the fight. I'm wondering why it wasn't letting me... Uh... Okay, that's another... So that's two relics now, right? So I need to work out what artifacts are, or rather what they do, like, when I pick them up. Okay, uh, I should have picked more up, but... Oh, well. Let's see, so that's a time displacement thing. Oh, I guess that could have been used on the barrier. <laughs> um, hello, game. I dodged and put that in. I don't. Dodger just did. It moved a step worth away from me. Like maybe it gets caught on um, edges of objects and stuff. Maybe I can't dodge near a step. No, okay, I can. I, I don't understand. So that didn't cause that one. And I guess I'm confused as to how or what this thing does. No, it's definitely a time thing. Maybe I can only do it on a character once because the other. I don't know what you call them. Uh, that dude ran right through it. Okay, so it, I can't phase through people if they're body blocking me. I can't just dodge through them. But then, to me, that isn't how dodge should work. Maybe it's just not my kind of game, but the combat doesn't really attract me anyway. Okay, so do I jump down here? I think not. What does this do? Okay, well that's not bad. Not exactly a sensible way to run a city, but you know. There's eggs. Hmm. I don't... I don't get it. Like, they've worked really hard to make a game that looks this... unique. And then... It's just the whole intro makes it feel like it's going to be an absolutely... JRPG, JRPG. I think it's just around the um, everything else to do with it. Makes it feel like it's going to be a Monster Hunter World 
with the like esoteric cutscenes and everything else. Like to maybe get this in front of playtesters and you know game designers in in other countries to get a good sense of what the game is going to be to give you an idea of yeah maybe polish out some of the bullshit this possibly could have been quite interesting because like the whole thing of just like pulling a tower up from nowhere to get across is interesting so this looks like a yep more exciting fight and by that I mean uh... I mean if dodge was a little more like uh, dynamic robust you know something that oh, shit. like at the moment I'm trying to lock onto a different thing and I don't know if um there's a button to like do targeted redirects of lock on. But I've tried like flicking um, the right stick a couple of times and it doesn't work too well. I really need more AoE. I noticed after a couple of things like my character um, like pulse is yellow. And I assume that's the crit. Let's see. Because I'm chaining it. Oh, I took some damage. That's the other thing. Like, sometimes we crouch and then we have to get up. But I, I'm stuck in an animation like there. I can't get up. I can't dodge, and basically it just forces me to take damage. Okay, one left. They went better than my other fights, but again, I got a bronze. Back. Now, how am I going to get backstabs if I'm being a ranged character that's constantly having to kite them? So, is that the end of mission, I guess? I didn't even look up there. Like, am I meant to run around this arena and discover more? Do I want to repeat the quest to get a better score? I don't. Oh, what's Not this? Really. Right, I got the punish last time. I don't, I don't know what that screen means. First completion bonus, skilled. Okay, so I didn't get skilled completion bonus. Thank you, game. Pointing out more. And it does the anthem thing of this is all the stuff you picked up in there. <laughs> points accrued points from battle pass tiers. Okay. Burning conches. Okay, so if I'd have done that better, I'd have got 2,000 conch. So I want exchange all, right? I assume that means it'll turn it into... Oh, right. It definitely does. <laughs> okay. It's the anthem thing of you've you collected all these things. And... What the fuck was that? Um. So they can randomly drop loot for you at the end of the mission. Which is fine, whatever, I don't care. But it just uninspiring. And now it's gone to a real time cutscene. Like, why don't they just do the animated style again? Because the lip sync's terrible. See, he's talking for two or three seconds before the audio starts. It's it's incredibly lame, just don't do that.
In case you think it's like a hardware port or something, this is the disc based Babylon Fall um, on PS5. It obviously gets copied straight to the um, the inbuilt storage and is streamed off disc. It's a small game, it's like 12.5 gig or something. So this is the best version to show the game off. And the cutscenes are just horrifically, just poorly made. Yeah, died. Blue times. Can I complain? They keep mentioning Ziggurat, but all they've shown so far is like a Greek, um, sorry, a Roman am amphitheater. But a Ziggurat's meant to be a rectangular stepped tower. So like, are we talking about different things? Or they just thought the word was called? I mean, it makes sense that they've put masts and helmets on half of the um, supporting cast, but still, like. Stop the blue sun. <laughs> oh my god. Stop adding words on because they look cool. Does, maybe it's just a Japanese culture thing, because this is so Hideo Kojima, I'm like... That sounds like a plan. We're all dying, obviously.
Holy shit, man. Can't wait. Where does that take us? Mission rewards available. No, that's a moat. What was that symbol like? Okay. So I can. So that makes my vitality worse. Let's, let's just forget it. Let's do that. What? Why are they not? Spirit region. Can I equip it but then not have it visible? Why are all of these plus minus? Like, holy shit. That's much worse spirit region again. Okay, that's the only item so far that's been better. Without a doubt. Okay, so heavy attack. What if I had it? That. Spirit Siphon. But that's even worse. Why is the damage so lame? Spectral attack. Stun bullet. Thunder. <laughs> okay, what if I equip, like, one of these with the thunder? Or are these needed for wand? Accessory. Why? Okay, that I can't put an accessory in. That I just don't have an accessory. Okay. Relics. Didn't I pick some up? Five hundred light attacks. Okay. Taunt attack. I d okay. Don't even know what a taunt attack is, but it's probably one of them. Yes. What? Why have they interaction? Party quests. Quick match campaign. I want to see if we can pop into someone else's. I think once we get another mission under our belt, we'll call it that. Unable to join. Okay. Wait to see if someone joins us. Like, give it a minute or two.
So, what is our character power level? There we go. So that's the. What was that noise? Other people. I think. Okay, maybe we have to be further in or something? I don't know. It hasn't told us that we can join other people's quests. Okay, so that thing on the table. Yeah. And in the background of this loading screen. I assume that's what they keep calling the ziggurat, but that's. Okay, so this is the way. Or rather, this is how it shows off the weapons that we've collected. It's just weird. It's me! It's me. How are you today? How are you today? Where are they getting these barrels from? I mean, come on. Okay, so I guess once you have a slightly better weapon, you can spam your abilities a bit more. And even though it had, like, Spirit Siphon, um, I mean, at, the attributes were more, far more diminished than earlier. It, it seems like it's not... It hasn't robbed us of uh, swiping the abilities as much as they have been. So. i got to work out what the things in the top left are. The green... The little green logos underneath the stamina bar. I assume they're bonus as part of the set items I've equipped or something, but... Again, I'm just guessing. The only problem here is it is actually quite linear. Because even though the environment's really quite interesting, it is just a narrow corridor and we're just following it linearly. Okay, so that's the status effect on the one at the back, I guess.
That's a fun enemy that can just roll at you from off screen. The, the stagger they've got is ridiculous. Okay, uh, they haven't really explained why all these enemies are just weird and different. Like, they're not a specific species, they're not, you know, like an outside invader, there's not like aliens or something. You're a hidden pocket. So I should hear noise. See when it does the like chained attack, uh, you get rooted in place, but it's not like an iframe. So I actually kind of don't like using the gun because of that. Whoops. That's then he's spamming the wrong button there.
Why is there a white circle on the floor here? say there's an obvious noise that we would hear. jump that can I? Eh, maybe I can. With a run. Amazing. Well done, John. Ah, so that got rid of those things in the top left. Okay. Uh, hello game? I've hit X twice now and it's just not. Well, um, it's egg on my face. <laughs> I'd say I feel bad, but, um, learning like jump timing windows and the rest. Uh, okay, so we're not meant to go that way, I guess. Here's something. Okay, you gotta press and hold. So that's a hidden pocket, is it? Like a sigil on the ground. Okay. And another fight. And this is the end. Mission end boss fight. Not so Fuck is that helmet? I guess the bow's got the same um, thing, you build up a crit thing, and then there's a you know, stuck in animation thing. So I should spam that off um, thingy to get damage in. Okay, uh, I don't tend to play games that have rage meters, so do I just wait for it to stop being horny or what?
kind of wish I had more damage, but... What the fuck is that? I mean, you meant... I assume you meant to deal with the ads, blah 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 blah. Why when they spawn do uh doesn't my coffin like link to them? Like a hey, have you seen this thing sir? My first gold! Yay! I honestly don't know why that is, so maybe the boss fight's meant to take like three times as long as I'm stupid. Well, that felt rather exhausting. Victory is yours. Perfect dodge two. I assume those are mission badges then. They've even used the Destiny style press and hold a little thing to register progress. Yay, okay, we've got a better a better bow. That's great. That's gonna help immensely. Like, Destiny did a load of really good things at launch on PS3 and 4. Uh, but some games just pick them up without even thinking why. It tends to be a, this is a destructive change. Um, and rather than having like an extra menu item, you just have to press and hold for the duration of it. So let's say you're destroying mats, you're doing any, any action that you'd rather think about. Um, like, go to orbit. Actually leaving where you are is not something you just want to accidentally tap. But converting mats from the mission, there's literally no other option I've got there. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't do anything apart from accept. So why would I press and hold? Why isn't that just a tap? Because all it's going to do is, the server already knows what I'm being awarded. So literally just tell the client already, you hit X, and it just should reveal the item. <laughs> Come on! Ah, that's Olivia. Well, I think 
that is definitely a little look at Babylon's Fall. It's not... It doesn't appear to be a good game. It might even be quite mediocre. But it's not appalling. Uh, you can see where they've tried to... Um, not paper over, but just like... <laughs> rub some Vaseline on the lens to make the game look... Um, intentionally ugly and broken. But it might just be they ran out of time. And they said, hey Sony, um, we've got this game coming out. Do you want to get exclusive on it? And Sony's like, yeah, here's some money. And Square Enix is like, ha 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 ha. Yeah. I mean, the, the co-marketing alone probably would have given them an extra couple of, I don't know, 10,000 sales or something. Um, and then people would have been like, God, this game's awful. And taken it back for a refund. And then Square Enix is like, oh, this has cost us money. This is, this is stupid. Yeah. It is amazing they didn't think this game probably shouldn't launch and let's just shit can it early. Probably because they've put footage out and advertised it. Oh well. Maybe it was a case that they hoped they'd get it to a more polished date and just COVID meant that um, they just weren't able to in the time frame and yet for budgetary reasons or, you know, sometimes it tends to be that you you want to put your game out well I guess this was done in March so it probably was a a tax um, a tax reason get it out in the financial year uh, and then put it on the the 20 uh, 2021 um, budget whatever just accept it as a loss I don't know these cutscenes though I've spoken all the way through it and I've not paid any attention, but I doubt they've said anything meaningful. <laughs> Which is what. See, see, it says mission, mission rewards available. Is that like a symbol? Because it, it's not that. That's emote. I can't press and hold that. Is it from here? Claim all. Maybe that was it. Yeah, in the, in the top right, underneath incomplete. Reward received. Okay, so I don't understand what that symbol is. Oh, it means daily. Okay. Uh, here on the left-hand side, next to daily. So daily, weekly, seasonal. Okay, finale. Gone. Okay, so that's play... There's a dungeons, I guess. I've done 52 out of 10,000 for the season. I don't think I get to 10,000. Bounce infamous jewel option. <laughs> Two out of 150. <laughs> Craft 50. That's kind of easy compared to other scrolls. Weekly. Might be able to do that. Um. We'll probably get two of those done this week. Anyway, so that has been Babylon's Fall. Um, yeah, it's certainly something. Like, that is not a fucking ziggurat. Anyway. Got the colours. It's just a hid hideous looking. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm going to stop streaming. And I don't know how to sign off, but... Um, if this interested you, you should play it before February because, you know, you get a chance to. See ya.